nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Hold it! Stop them! My God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Oh, oh, this, this is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to fall, shall we? Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. Rounded all on! But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane, and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Trim the yards off the wind! As much sail as you can! You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Fantastic work. Very promising.